Hi, this time it will be a crazy video on restoring faded uh, power FD display using 9 volts battery. The idea is that the filament lines, the three lines here, uh, are covered in dirt and uh, some some results of uh, chemical. And, uh, um, I'm missing a word in English here. Anyway. Uh, they need to be cleaned and the way to clean them is to burn them. Uh, burning will destroy uh, all of the dirt and all of the uh, chemical components that are placed on these filament lines. Uh, yes, I'm missing a lot of words right now. Anyway, we'll be using a 9 volts battery. Typical uh, voltage between filament pins is in range uh, between 2 and 3 volts. So 9 volts is 3 times as much and usually when the filament is under normal operating voltage you cannot see the filament lines because uh, they are not uh, glowing bright enough for human eye to see. Uh, we'll be using my DVD-89 uh, as an example. Uh, this is a very nice uh, Super Audio CD player especially after I've replaced uh, output stage caps and I've done snippet uh, pass uh, through for, for, for front uh, speaker outputs uh, taking the signal right uh, after the first uh, capacitor filter after DAC output. So I'm bypassing uh, two regular output stages that are later on and the signal is great. It's, uh, it has great uh, clarity, great transparency, it's a very, very good audio equipment, though it's, I don't know, 20 years old, something like that. Anyway, the display was faded, so now up to the point, how do we do this? I have a piece of old junk cable that I had lying around. Actually, I have a lot of junk cables in my house. I'll be... Uh, of course, it's good to do this uh, with someone else or maybe to solder the cables to the battery. As you can see, I'm putting it like that. And now I have two endpoints here. One for plus and another one for minus. And I'm touching two filament plus and minus uh, points. What's important here? The display has been disconnected from power board and uh, oh yes it's connected to the signal board but the signal board doesn't have any direct uh, on or indirect connection to the filament power lines these are coming straight from the supply uh, power supply uh, in this particular case power supply is uh, using toroidal transformer uh, sorry regular transformer but it has a secondary wiring especially for filament so there is no any kind of voltage double or something like that no capacitor that could have been dried and uh, been responsible for fading display. This is just filament lines. Okay, so the thing is to shortly short the battery through the filament and the current flow will make the filament glow. It will be red hot and it will burn any deposits there. So just look at this. Can you see the filament lines? You should be seeing them. Let's check once again. Yes, you'll be able to see them. And one minute should be enough. If you see that it's starting to burn red hot, stop it because you'll destroy the lines. And just like that. I've already done this for this display. It's looking way better now. I hope I, I, hope I can see this. Uh, I can, sorry, I hope I can uh, show you this in a minute. I'll pause the video, uh, reconnect the lines, and I'll show you how it looks after the burning the filament lines. So, see you in a second. Okay, so we're back. Everything is uh, connected as it should be. And now let's power my old player. It looks great. It was completely faded. 
it was almost unreadable, un unreadable. It's my fault I forgot to record this part because uh, I wasn't sure it's even if it's going to work out. So I thought about recording video later on in the middle of the work. Anyway, it works. It's trying to read my Super Audio CD copy in the drive. Yes, it's fine. What's what's uh, why why this particular drive? This particular drive can be easily converted to read uh, recorded Super Audio CDs. Uh, it's also very cheap. Yes, I got it for like uh, less than 30 bucks. Uh, it's easy to uh, make some adjustments to the audio output stages uh, and it sounds great. Besides, I have some family DVDs that I wasn't able to read on anything else because I had no DVD player. So, that's basically all. Have fun and good luck with restoring your faded VFD displays. And let's show me this beautiful stop. Now, it was hard to open. Let's close the tray. Yes, I love it. It looks great. Okay, that's all for now. Have a nice day.